In this video, let us see how to convert a PDF into a CSV file. That is, extract all the tables present in the PDF into a CSV file. Instead of copy and paste manually, we can use this Python script to automate that process. So here you can see this is the sample PDF. This PDF contains three tables here you can see. Table 1, Table 2 and Table 3. So let us see how to automate this copy and pasting from this PDF. We're gonna convert this PDF into a CSV file. We're gonna extract all the tables from this PDF and we're gonna import this into this Excel file. So for this we're gonna use a library called the tabular pi. So we'll have to install that. To do that, open your command prompt or terminal. If you are using open your command prompt, I'm using Linux, I will open my terminal. So just type pip install tableau py. You're gonna use this library to convert your PDF into a CSV file. I press enter, it will install this tableau py file for you. Now the library has been installed successfully. Let me clear the screen. So for this, we're gonna need a PDF. Here you can see I have a PDF. Let me drag and drop this PDF into our working directory. So let me copy and paste this into our working directory. Here you can see now we got our PDF into this working directory. Let's create a Python file now. The Python file name will be mine.py. Now we have the Python file. Let's import the library that we have installed now. So from tabula, we're gonna import the convert into. So this is the function that we're gonna use to convert the PDF into the CSV file. Next, provide the input location of the PDF. So input file equal to pro pass the PDF file now. Here you can see both the Python file and the PDF are located in the same place. I will provide the relative location only. So just type the PDF name. Sample tables dot PDF. Now we have the input location. Give you a name for your output. So output equal to, we're gonna give you a name for our output. Outputs, output tables dot CSV. We're gonna store this output file as a csv file now we have the input location and the output location we're gonna ca call the function convert into this will take series of parameters the first one is the input part over the input file this is where our pdf is located and give you the output part so just pass the output variable this is what our output uh, file name will be now uh, pass the output format in this case, output format equal to CSV. We're gonna convert the PDF into a CSV format. So type CSV. Next, we need to provide the pages. We're gonna convert uh, all the pages into a CSV file. That is extracting tables that is present in the all the pages into a CSV. So pages equal to all. Let's say a print a message now. So print, we're gonna use the F string. The CSV has been converted in the output. So that's it. So let's save this file and run it now. So let me run this file now. Here you can see we get a dependency error that is, let me scroll up. You can see that we got a error, the no module name G type. So it says that there is no module called the GPyP. So we will have to install that. So this is the library that we are missing. You can see that this GPyP is a Python library that will provide access to Java within a Python file. So using this module only, the tabula file can able to access the java from the python so you will have to install the java so you can see that to extract the table from the pdf we need the java let's open a new tab make sure the java is installed in your windows or linux i have already installed that so just type java jdk and download the latest jdk version you can find the java jdk in the here you can see the jdk 23 is available so if you are using windows just choose the Windows and download the installer or MSC installer. So let me open up my terminal and paste the command now pip install jpyp. Here you can see it's successfully installed the library that we are missing. I have already installed the Java here. You can see when we type the Java hyphen f1 version, it gives us the version. You can see that open JDK has been installed successfully. So make sure you have the Java install and the jpyp install in your system. Now I have installed both the libraries. So let me clear the screen. So when you run this uh, Python script again, here you can see a new CSV file has been generated successfully. You open that up. Here you can see now our PDF has been converted into the CSV file. So you, you can see that this is the PDF that we had that has the information. If you open up the CSV, you can see that it successfully extracted the PDF into a CSV file. So let me open this in the Excel file now. Let me go to the Google Sheet and let's try to upload this file now to open this in the Excel. So let me upload the CSV file that has generated now. So let's select the working directory and let's select the CSV file. Now the file has been uploading. Here you can see now we have successfully opened the CSV file into the Excel. 
So if you want to perform any operation, you can do that from here without copy and pasting from this PDF. You can use this Python script to automate this. So consider this is the last table. This is the table 3 and this is the table 2 and this is the table 1. We have extracted all the tables from this PDF. So if you want to convert this table into a data frame, you can do that as well. So let me clear this. And before that, let's import the so from tabula we're gonna need a library called the read pdf we're gonna convert this table into a data frame pandas data frame so make sure you have the pandas installed in your system here you can see now the pandas has been installed successfully so we're gonna import pandas as pd so let me clear these two lines we don't need it anymore so table is equal to we're gonna call the read pdf so we're gonna directly convert the pdf into a data frame now so input file now provide the input file and provide the pages equal to all. We're gonna assign the tables from the all the pages now. And next, we need to enable multiple tables equal to true. So this is a boolean value. This will take true or false. So multiple tables equal to true. And we're gonna provide the options. That is the pandas option. Header equal to none. Header equal to none. So that's it. Now we have the tables into the data frame now. So let's print the tables now. So let's save this file and run this now. Here you can see now our table has been converted into the pandas data frame. If you want to perform the pandas operation, you can do that using this pandas library. You can see that the three tables has been successfully converted into this pandas data frame. If you want to select the specific table, you can use the indexing. So we're gonna select the first table. So let me run this file again. Here you can see now we got the first table into the data frame now. You can see that that's it. We have converted the table into one data frame. So this is how you use the tabular library as well as the pandas to perform the data analysis. If you want to extract the second table, use the one index. You can see that this is the second table. So this is it. This is how you extract the tables from the PDF into a CSV format. So this will make the process of copy and paste easily. So this is for this video and I will continue in the next.